You are now entering the Tycoons and Style Icons Room in the Cartier 100 Years of Passion and Free Spirit in America exhibition. Many American icons were frequent patrons of Cartier, but none more so than Miss Daisy Fellows. Heiress to the famous Singer sewing machine fortune, Daisy Fellows' taste and audacity earned her a solid reputation as a trendsetter. This bracelet, created in 1921, is a perfect example of her style. Made in platinum and set with old, single, and rose-cut diamonds, emerald cabochon, caliber-cut emeralds, natural pearls, and coral. A venerated singer, originally from Poland, Gana Walska was one of the 20th century's greatest jewelry collectors. She was married to Alexander Smith Cochran, who had been referred to as the richest bachelor in the world and later to Harold Fowler McCormick, heir to the McCormick machinery fortune. A great patron of Cartier, in 1928, she fell in love with this chimera-shaped bangle and its stunning design in gold and platinum, set with diamonds, emeralds, sapphires, carved coral, and green, blue, and black enamel. In 1971, she sold her jewelry, including this bangle, at Sotheby's in New York donating the money raised to the Lotus Land Foundation in Santa Barbara, California for the creation of a botanical garden. The entire world was captivated by the story of King Edward VIII, who renounced the English throne to marry Wallace Simpson, a twice-divorced American socialite and the woman he loved. The Duchess has been described as the epitome of elegance and was a great fan of Cartier. This ring is one of the many pieces from her collection. It was a special order in 1954, in gold, platinum, diamonds, emeralds, and a coral cabochon. Also among the pieces she purchased from Cartier was this pair of opera glasses. The gold tiger handle is adorned with two emeralds for its eyes and black enamel stripes. The lorgnette came in a pouch, which was inscribed, Please return to HRH, the Duchess of Windsor, reward. Another celebrity, American actress Gloria Swanson, owned this Cartier timepiece. The functional design marries a classic gold bracelet with a hidden wristwatch. This baguette watch in pink and yellow gold has a sliding cover and a sleek look. Cartier has a long history of dazzling the world with its unique timepieces. In particular, its line of mystery clocks has long been a fascination and source of conversation for Cartier clientele. The unique design and ingenuity of these timepieces, often made with rock crystal faces, create the illusion that the clock's hands are suspended in space. This clock, sold to Barbara Hutton, is an exquisite example in gold, platinum, lapis lazuli, and diamond detail. Barbara Hutton was the granddaughter of the founder of the Woolworths retail chain and one of the richest women of her time. An enthusiast of magnificent jewelry, she became one of Cartier's most loyal clients. This gold and leather helm-shaped wristwatch was purchased by Ms. Hutton in 1953. Barbara Hutton had several tiger pieces custom designed from Cartier. This gold clip brooch is set with yellow and white diamonds, emerald eyes, and onyx stripes. Ms. Hutton chose the tiger as her inspiration, having referred to it as the only animal without any true feelings. Daughter of Duke de Caz and Isabel Singer, and heiress to the famous Singer sewing machine fortune, Daisy Fellows was often considered to be the most elegant woman in the world by magazines in the 1920s and 30s. Passionate about jewelry, she purchased numerous Cartier creations, including this gold ring in 1948, made for her with tiny ruby beads. This piece, also owned by Daisy Fellows, was purchased in 1913. It is an exquisite vanity case in pink gold, yellow gold, and platinum, adorned with onyx, pearls, and enamel. The interior is fitted with a compartment and two lipstick holders. This magnificent piece was made for Ms. Barbara Hutton by special order. It has a gold setting, baguette cut diamonds, rubies, and one 37.67 carat jade cabochon. An enthusiast of magnificent jewelry, Ms. Hutton was one of the most loyal clients of the Maison de Cartier. The next room explores the inextricable connection between Cartier design and the arts.